This is very important. This is the thing I discovered years ago. And now the dysthemic people tend to have cosmic light deficiency. We have light. We're made out of light. And the Jyotish of India say that, well, Jyotish is, this, is the world word for, for the astrology of India. It means the science of light. Um, there is no, no, zilch, bupkis, horoscopic astrology in the Vedas. The word Vedic astrology is a misnomer. It may refer to the culture that it arose in. It would be like calling ours um, biblical astrology. Uh, the Bible actually does have a great deal more astrology in it, but it's called Jyotish, very ancient and venerable science. We studied a great deal, and it's the science of light. And the practitioners of Jyotish are the Jyotishi. And the so we are made out of cosmic light. The ancient rishis could see this. It comes in through the chakras, various channels. We have arteries for sun and moonlight and all the planet light according to this system. Now, or we could just say sun and moonlight, just light. If you look around, everything you see is made out of photons. We cannot deny that we are made out of light. Now, if you're born in the winter, you look at that upper left-hand corner. If you're born in the winter, there's a less of, you have less cosmic light. And in fact, these three signs are extremely prone to depression, just being born in the winter. If you're born in the last quarter of the moon, the ball or the especially the balsamic phase right before new moon, you will see the moon's going dark. This can add to a, lot, a lack of cosmic light. The moonlight is very low. Even just at new moon and right after new moon, the new moon side's always brighter and happier. You'll find your your people born with the just after new moon, even within a few minutes, are much more cheerful than people born with the moon a few minutes before new moon. But just near moon, the moon is dark either side. Three, if you're born at night, the sun under the horizon, especially at midnight or sunset, right after sunset, there can be an increased sense of hopelessness or depression but the whole especially i'd say houses um uh four and six <clears throat> or right in the seventh under the line for you equal you uh, whole sign house people ten or right on the descendant these are depressive positions the sun is sinking sinking down reaches its apex of sinking at the nadir the bottom the fourth house or the ic the bottom cusp now if you have all three of these if you find a chart with all three of these conditions, nine out of 10, they will suffer terrible depressions. And I discovered this because again and again and again and again, the clients would come in, I'm so depressed. I've been depressed for 20 years and the meds never help. And I look down and there's two, three or all three of these conditions over and over and over again. So I started to guess it. I started to say, oh, do you suffer from depression? Oh, God, yes, I'm on meds right now. And so this really does work. It does not guarantee you will have a dysthemic person. But I saw this for years. And then one day I said, why doesn't somebody notice this? One day they come out. We have discovered that, um, so, uh, that uh, light deficiency can cause uh, depression. Well, it's in the chart all along. And this is why astrology which is very much the foreparent of modern psychology in many ways, um, is so very helpful to modern psychology and psychiatry. Because as Jung himself said, I can't quote the text, but it's a famous thing he said. He said something like, one, one hour with the horoscope is equal to 19 sessions on the couch. 